Yo, alright, lad, this is the Geordie Jedi here. Today, more of Assassin's Creed. And if you weren't here for the last, last episode, apparently, you're going to try to kill Elise now. And obviously, I'm trying to intervene. Which is always, is always nice and fun. <coughs> Please, where are you? Damn Don't it. hide from me. Where was I? Where the hell was I? Damn it. Be quick here. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Get out of the way. There's a sexy woman in danger. Aye, she knows what it means. It means move out the way. There's a crowd. Drop your tray. Ha. Huh? I'm a badass. What are you doing here? Nathan, stop! Oh, you can't 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 I'm gonna walk because I am a badass. I don't care about no gunfire. Oh, it's just enemies now. Go run. Oh, it's kind of a crap maze. No way past this one. Shall we? Let's. It's like men who attack women. Tell me at least can't climb. No, the majority of Templars are no they can climb. How do we get up? The hell's that mark? Okay, I'll just where am I actually going? That way, okay. Use that door. Just admit it, you're lost. Never lost. Right, I don't know which way to go. Follow me. Excuse me. Gotta go. Hello. Ta-da! You see, I'm generally that good. Blend with the crowd, my dear. Wait, Don't need it. They don't know where I am. But I know precisely where they are. Missed. 
Hi. Come on, get up. Not the sort to kill a man while he's down. Oh. Never mind. Yeah, we saved Elise. Little bit unnecessary, but okay. I thought it was unnecessary. Go on, I'll distract them. Trust me. Meet me tomorrow at Cafe Theatre. I'll explain everything. You're mad. I'll be there. I may be a little late. Come at me, boys. Aha, bastards! Ah! 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 Ah!
Continue. Mirabeau! Must we rehash this debate again? We must. And we will master tomorrow. If you cannot see the advantage in being owed a favor by Puckford Lassier's daughter, I despair for our future. Continue, Mademoiselle Blasser. Oh, here we go. You are not men with whom I would normally parlay, monsieur. But my father is dead, as are my allies within the order. If I must turn to the assassins for my revenge, so be it. Parlay, my art. It's a trick to make us lower our guard. I say we kill her, send her right back as a warning. Belek. Enough! Plainly, this discussion is better conducted in private. If you will excuse us, Mademoiselle Blasser. Certainly. Oh, no. Perhaps you should accompany her. I am sure you two have much to talk about. There's a little bit of dodginess, but if I don't think Elisa's gonna turn on anyone. I mean, it'd be a shock, I suppose, story-wise, if she did, but... I don't think she will. I think it's more likely that Bellic will turn on her. Because he, he'll try to kill Elise because he thinks it's protecting the Brotherhood. I think personally, I think that's the more likely option. That went about as well as I expected. Give it time. Mirabeau will pop them around. Do you really think we'll find him? After all this time? His luck can't last forever. François Germain believed La Femme François Germain? Yes. Where is he? He shot someone in St. Antoine. Why? Oh. If you'll excuse me, I need to get this guy. Just doing my civic duty. Slow down! I was doing a good thing. Come back here. Wait for me! So, you owe us money. Let's call it tax. What was that about? Honor. Francois Germain was my father's lieutenant. What? He was cast out of the order when I was a girl. Something about heretical notions or Jacques de Molay, I'm not entirely sure. But he should be dead. He died years ago. Did anyone tell him that? I would very much like to ask him a few questions. So would I. discovered this guy was an ex-Templar. I thought something was up. Something seemed dodgy. All right, perhaps it is the same Germain. And yeah. You will never suspect a thing. Do they know I'm here? Looks like Boo! Oh. That wasn't bothered. Say, come on, Elise, you're gonna have to take care of at least one of them by yourself. There we go. Who needs to stun enemies when you can kill them? Well, that was bracing. Looks like they're timing my face. Bit more blood this time around. There's nothing here. You must have known his bluff wouldn't hold up. So we've lost him again. Maybe not. Let's keep looking. Locked. Maybe we could do that. Girl power. Well, now I know why this 
wasn't on the official tour. Oh no. Look. It's him. The bastard killed my father. We have to tell Mirabel. I'll take care of it. Meet me at Mirabel's estate. I missed. Got him that time. And then he's probably dead. As per the stereotype. Elise? <laughs> Elise? What is this? I found him, Rachel. I didn't. Of course not. But I have to report this to the council immediately. They'll know what to do. No! They don't trust me as it is. I'll be their suspect, first and last. You're right. Of course, you're right. What are you going to do? We find out what happened. All right, so I'll do me little investigation. That's kind of cool. Looks like he was expecting a visitor. Who? Master Kamo. Poisoning by the looks of it. Doesn't look like stabbing. I don't know. What is that? It's the weapon that killed your father. That's a Templar badge of office. What's it doing here? Painting a picture. So it's her. It is, I, I know it's not her. I really don't think it is because it's whoever had the pin. Only one pin, only a couple of people would have gone near the pin. And I doubt it was her because I'm assuming it's the same weapon. The ladies think you have it. So, we can count half the noble women of Paris as suspects then? Maybe one of the staff will recognize them. Yes, sir. Have you been here all day? No, sir. I arrived at four to see to this beast's delivery of pipes. Anyone else arrived since then? Only the young lady with the red hair, sir. She went straight away to the master's study. And you haven't been upstairs. The weekly wine delivery is quite expensive, sir. I see. Thank you for your time. Sir, you recognize this handkerchief? Hmm. Oh, yes. 
Professor. It belongs to Emily. Emily, the maid. I'm given to understand she saved up her wages for a month to purchase it. It made her feel like a lady, she told me. And where is Emily now? At the market, sir. Thank you. Of course, sir. Look like it was full. So the killer was expected. A guest, perhaps? Or a servant? Poison. Let me see that. Aconite. Hard to detect unless you know what you're looking for. Popular with wolf is it? With anyone who wants to get away with murder. But yes. Rather nasty poison as well, Arcanite. You don't you certainly don't go quietly. Viva Cube. No, you don't think. I think the Assassin's Creed franchise, they're trying to get more and more way of thinking of the Assassins as the good guys and the Templars as the bad guys, like, execute. Like, all Assassins are good guys, all Templars are bad guys, I think they're trying to break that kind of... Ah, Monsieur Dorian, what can I do for you? Mirabeau is dead. Dead? Murdered. I knew this truce would come to a bad end. I'll have to summon the rest of the council to deal with this. Elise had nothing to do with this. I'll stake my life on that fact. Please, give me a little more time. I'll find the killer. Very well. You have until tomorrow morning. No later. Mirabeau was poisoned with aconite. Poisoned? Do I need to point out that that particular strain is a favorite of the Templars? You do not. Where might one acquire aconite in such strong concentrations? Any doctor could prescribe it in diluted form. I myself take a tincture of aconite for my heart. It's strictly regulated, of course. But I do know of an apothecary in Lamare who is willing to overlook such petty legal matters. Thank you. Oh, I can accuse Master Quema, which I doubt. I don't think it was. I really do have. Actually, no, I don't think it'd be Belek either. It's just weird. I'm not 100% certain one way or the other. It's just not Elise. It was Quema either. I don't know, because I, I, I see no reason. Would do it. He, he gains nothing. Elise. Character and again, she gains nothing. He was the only one who might have been willing to help. Apart from yourself. I kinda wish I played LA Noir for you, as I think I think that would have been interesting. Where'd she come from? Well played. Hey, damn you, come back here. Slow down. Wait. 
fact that he recognized me as an assassin suggests that um, he certainly knows me. What the hell was that meant to do? <laughs> <laughs> Am I way fool? Piss off. I'm busy. Now what? Damn. Ah, oh, it's okay. Oof, I thought I was absolutely screwed there. Seems I'm going for the aerial tackle here. Yeah. Yes, but I've seen it done. Come here. Stop running from me. I'm gonna catch him here, I'm, I'm, you know, that's just a guarantee. See, he told him. He even pushed you out my way. Ta da! What are you talking about? You, you're with the other one, aren't you? The hooded man. Tell me about this other one. Who is he? I don't know. I never saw his face. Ah! He threatened to kill me if I didn't give him the poison. I didn't ask questions. Ah! I keep only a small quantity in stock. He took that straight away, but he told me. Swear to drop off the second dose. Second dose? Think of this as a wonderful story to frighten your grandchildren. Well? You were right. He gave our mysterious killer the poison. And he said the killer wore a hood like mine. Well, for our shades of grey, never a good story. We've been betrayed from within. That would explain why the killer tried to betray me. Here, this is where the apothecary delivered his wares. What are we waiting for? Yay. Okay then. It not only is it all the time we have that we'll have, I'm afraid we're gonna have to stop here. But also it seems a decent place to leave it off as a bit of a cliffhanger, don't you think? So anyways, this has been the Geordie Jedi. Leave a like if you can, it really helps. Subscribe for more videos. May the force be with you.